Simple numbers and statistics play an important part in our daily lives. They are everywhere, and much of their use is almost automatic. Comparing food prices in the market helps us make good decisions and household savings. Comparing school enrollment rates between villages and islands helps education authorities make informed decisions of where to invest in building new schools. Without timely and quality statistics, policymakers and planners will find it difficult to make good decisions. Without proper statistics, some seasoned development practitioners have stated repeatedly, we are flying blind. First of all, I mean, uh, statistics is, uh, you know, uh, really the facts. And the policy uh, and decision making should really be based on evidence. Uh, and so our job is to make sure that uh, uh, we collect the facts and we make it available to uh, policy makers. Statistics, data are essential for policy formulation, for planning, for monitoring, for analysis, uh, for decision making. So it's really part of the, the foundations for all that important work that is necessary to deliver and support communities and people. Uh, studies are needed for monitoring purposes or reporting. Our governments have signed into various uh, global declarations, global requirements. And so the countries, the NSOs are required to provide this kind of support. And so, yes, yeah, statistics is very important. We need that to make informed decisions. We uh, need that to make the right choices. The 2000 Millennium Development Goals, or MDGs, have been an important catalyst for statistical development across the Pacific Island region and throughout much of the developing world. Major investments in statistics and efforts to build stronger statistical systems have addressed data gaps, provided more timely and quality statistics, and helped develop robust indicators to monitor development progress. For example, in 2000, only 3 out of 15 Pacific Island countries were able to provide information on hardship and poverty. Ten years later, 14 out of 15 countries were able to do so. And by mid-2014, nine countries will have two or three different data points and thus will be able to, for the first time, actually report if poverty and hardship have changed during the MDG period. As specific countries try to fulfill their MDG commitments, reliable statistics become even more crucial in making decisions, formulating policies and implementing programs. I uh, see statistics is not only for government, because the statistical office is for the people of Fiji, uh, people from the university, academic, civil society, uh, have, should have access to up-to-date statistics, for, especially for their program. Uh, so, so now social statistics has become very critical uh, because uh, if government is going to put in a program to support a targeted group like the disadvantaged women, so we need statistics. Statistics are also important for us in terms of um, justifying policy changes that we need to make. And I suppose as a, as a Minister of State, the, the, the most use I make of statistics is to justify to my colleagues in the cabinet, um, in parliament, to justify changes that we want to make to laws or to policy. You have to have a good evidence for that, that need for a change which comes from st statistics that we can compile and provide. The Millennium Development Goals succeeded in attracting attention across the Pacific Island region and throughout the developing world on the importance of having access to quality and timely statistics to develop, implement and monitor development policies. Statistical data and information should be an important part of the debates on the post-2015 development agenda, especially when goals, targets and indicators are to be set. The challenge now for the international statistical community is to stand up and be counted and provide solid support to those wishing to use evidence in developing post-2015 policy priorities and also learn from the MDG process and be guided by realistic, achievable and measurable targets. We are at the moment discussing with Paris 21 and other interested partners like the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to see to what extent we might be able to 
to convince uh, political leaders to actually elevate statistical development as a development goal in its own right. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, billions of dollars will be invested uh, in the post-2015 development agenda, and uh, we need to be able, we need to be able to provide both countries as well as their development partners with the evidence that the money invested is actually well spent, that the money invested is actually making impacts, is, uh, is uh, achieving the outcomes. Focus on, on, on statistics as a development strategy, as a development objective, I should say, in its own right, is well and long overdue. Uh, we gotta be bold, we gotta, we gotta actually not only advocate, but as a uh, community of uh, concerned statisticians, we really got to uh, put our reputation uh, up there and saying, look, for us to do the job, we need that kind of political empowerment. And uh, uh, all the colleagues I know, we are ready to, to play our part in that.